this demonstration, I'm going to talk you through the new Freestyle Trimmer from Crafts2. This is an absolutely amazing tool that is different to a lot of other things that are on the market. We're used to guillotines and we're used to trimmers. And with every single one of those, like a guillotine, here I've got pieces already stuck to it, you have to actually lift the handle, take your piece and put it in. So that if you're wanting to cut something out of just a little section, it is relatively difficult. The new freestyle trimmer has been designed differently because you have a self-healing cutting mat completely separate. So totally separate. Then you have a rule which has a blade that slides along it. You actually have a set already with a straight line cut blade that is completely safe. It won't cut until you press down. And when you press down heavily, then the blade will come through and it's a rotary cutter. But you also have a skip line, which gives you a dotted line which you can use for detailing or you can use to make tear off tickets. You have a zigzag line to give you a straight sort of zigzag. You have a wave line, which gives you a gentle curve. And you also have a fold line, which is perfect for putting folds into things that are hard to fold, like acetate or vellum, as it's a very gentle fold. But I wanted to show you, first of all, how we actually use this. So I'm just going to take sort of a random piece of card literally from my desk. We just put it down. We've got grid lines on here so we can get things straight. If I want to take this sort of centimetre off here, I line it up against the line. I press down either by pressing down with one finger and push and it cuts off. Or if you're hard with dexterity, you can use your whole of your hand, press down and pull down. It has a sort of rubberized strip there, which means it doesn't actually move. If you look, once it's actually down, it doesn't move. So you can put that anywhere. And this is fantastic for doing things like if you want to cut one little piece. I've got here a 12 by 12 paper pad and I want to flick through and I want to take some of these tags off. But I don't want to detach it from the bag or from the book. I don't want to take all of it out. Well, with this, I can simply pop the piece behind underneath put it there and if I want this side strip off I just place my rule a little bit away from the line I want to do press down push up and there I've cut that piece off if I want to take let's just say I want to take a couple of these tags out I can put my line take it to where I want to start the cut press down pull down move it to the other side Hold it, pull down, take it across the top as it's movable. So I can take that across the top, just there, push down, slide along. And there I can take just that little section out of my book and put it back in. So I'm not actually affecting that at all. If it comes to then neatening up and something that someone said this would be great for, was to actually doing little sentiments and things and getting them cut down straight. So I can put that against a straight line if I want to. Put it there, hold down, slide off, takes that top little section off. And all I'm doing each time is just holding a little bit away from where I want to cut it. Just like that, press down, slide down. Right, nice and easy to get things cut exactly precisely. If I wanted to take another strip from here, again, just a little bit away from the line I want to cut, it automatically grips, press down, pull it along, and there I can take that tiny strip off, leaving me the perfect pieces. So very simply, I've cut that out of the book. I could use the trimmer, or I could just use scissors like this. But I've created so much less mess because what I've actually done now is create a situation whereby every page is still within that 12 by 12 pad. I don't have to loosen it. And that's that's the way that we lose pieces. You can see there I've got a beautiful little tag and a piece cut. And if I want to even up, say, this little card blank here, again, I press it against this piece here. Press it down, run through, it will neaten it off. If I want to take it and get it completely straight and have two layers, so let's say I want to go 
and take these two layers off. Use the whole of my hand, press down, pull down, go forward. It will take both of those off. If it doesn't, I can still go back on, press down. And these are pieces that you wouldn't see in a guillotine or a trimmer. So there's my little card, my little tag to go on it, and my like little strip. So nice and simple. So that is giving us the perfect straight cut. If I want to cut more pieces and I want to cut a different shape, there's a little clip here at the top. And all I do is click that to the side and click that off. And within the pack, you will have extras of these in the actual pack included. So if you do lose that, you don't have to worry. You don't have to think, oh, I've lost the clip. They're going to fall off. I need to buy more. No, they've been included for you. So if I want to do the skip line, I simply slide that on and I would put my clip back on. I'm not going to put my clip back on, obviously, because I want to change it. But let's say I want to add a little decorative detail down this side of the stitch line. Place it straight on my board, press down, drag down, and there's my little skip line. If I want to, fold it, and there's my tear-off ticket. If I want to do the next line, which is the zigzag, again, I slide the piece on. I can straighten it up on my board, place it against the line, press down, drag down, and there's my perfect zigzag line. If I want a wave line, again, take this, slide the new piece on easily. There's no blade showing while these are loose, so I can happily hold these in my hand. There's no sharp, I've got to press down to get anything sharp. So again, let's just line this up against the line, make sure I'm happy. Press down, drag down, drag up, depends each time. So if you see there, I didn't press strongly enough. So it's quite simple. Further on, press down well. Go through and that cuts it. So it's all about just putting pressure on, which you can do with your finger or with the whole of your hand. And there I get a beautiful wave line. You can actually see the difference in the comparison there. The great thing for storage on this is it finishes at the end so I can slide all five on, put my little clip back on the top and there I have all five held. The other great thing about this is it doesn't need to be used with the actual board it comes with. So here I have the New Crafts 2 2-in-1 board. So let's just take these off. So again, turn your clip to the side. Just flick it. And remove your clip. Let's take all of those blades off. We're going to pop my straight blade back on. And I would put my clip back on. So here I'm just going to grab a piece of 8x8 paper, which is bigger, straight onto my self-healing cutting mat. Place it using the paper as a guide, just like that. Press down, run and cut. If I want to take a smaller piece off, I just want a little strip, exactly the same thing again. And I can cut this in any direction I want. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't actually matter. You can go across, down, whichever way is better for you. So let's take this little sentiment strip out here. This would be very, very difficult to cut with a guillotine or with a paper trimmer, as you can't see it. Whereas with this, even on a slip this small, I can load it up. It's held in place. Press down, run through and I get that just straight all the way along. Really simple and easy to use, a brilliant flexible tool that is transportable that you can use in any direction. Mm -hmm.